What's up guys, welcome back to Terraria. Today we will finally attempt the end of this game, the events leading up to the final fight, and it's gonna be a pretty exciting episode. In the last episode, we did a pretty big change. We switched to mage. As you can see, we have the mage specter armor set. We have some mage weapons here. And also, I prepared one thing for the beginning here. If I go to the tinkerer's workshop, I can craft the avenger emblem with one emblem and those souls from the mechanical bosses. And now, with the celestial magnet and the avenger emblem, we can make the celestial emblem which sounds or seems pretty amazing increases pickup range for mana stars so we don't have to like tank damage when we want to get some extra mana from enemies and of course the awesome 15% increased magic damage so all around just a great little mage accessory here I also remove the mana flower even though it has warding and it is a pretty nice accessory I realized and I read a comment too that it's there's a much better way to do that You just have to get mana regeneration potions Which basically mean you never run out of mana I think because they really sound amazing and I also made some magic power potions So the main potions I'm gonna use are the regeneration potions iron skin Mana regeneration and magic power and with all of that together even some mana potions and greater healing potions themselves Overall, I just think we are survivable now we can survive for longer and of course we can deal so much damage to the enemies and I will quickly get maybe a regeneration potion iron skin maybe all of them just to see how good all of them together are and then I'm gonna go to this chest here, and I do have two truffle worms, and we never really saw our, like, magic weapons, our mage armor in action against the real threat, against the boss, only against, like, the old one's army, which is a really challenging thing, but it's pretty much only crowds of enemies and not a single tough enemy like Duke Fishron, so I decided to just go to the ocean and once again try to fight against Duke Fishron and just see how we do. See how strong we are now as a mage and if I can even survive I'm also gonna follow the tips I saw in the comments and I'm gonna use the specter hood for that healing instead of like the mask which only really buffs the damage. We just need that extra healing for boss fights. I think I'm mostly only gonna use the Razor Pine. Maybe if I have to run away a lot, I'm gonna use the Razor Blade. But the Razor Pine is just so much damage, it's crazy. But okay, let's just throw out the Fishing Pole. And as soon as Duke Fishron is hooked, I will use my potions. And there it is. Okay, okay, I use my potions, right? Everything is good. Everything is right. Oh my god, look at this damage! And look at the mana regeneration! That is kinda crazy to be honest. Could I even just tank it? One second, could I just tank it? If I really... Okay, this is crazy. I understand why you guys got angry at me for not using the freaking hood. The spectre armor hood. I, I am kinda looking at my HP. Dude, what? What? I never realized that. Is that like the regeneration potion and the mana regeneration potion? And of course the armor set? Just working all together to make this insane, just OP. <laughs> oh god, dude, I can't even really, I can't even believe that. That seems so strong. That seems so strong. I could actually also change to the mask because I'm not even taking that much damage. Because look at this, if I change to the mask now, how much damage do we deal against Duke Fishron? I think that might be a little bit too dangerous. I do always want the healing because look at that what we just randomly turned what we, ra we randomly got back to a full HP look look at the I'm only looking at the HP because I honestly cannot believe how strong this mage set is this is actually much stronger this is even more like easier this is easier to survive with than as a tank which is just surprising and I love it I really love it thank you guys for telling me that was a huge mistake not to use the hood I can easily like beat every boss it feels like. I could of course use my HP if I get too cocky, get back my mana and then, oh god, I have to be careful now, maybe use some of this, yeah there we go, where, where, oh no, oh no it's the crazy face, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm just gonna fly away, get, get the thing, the falling stars are getting crazy, okay now I need to dash around and stuff, okay. No, this is this is dangerous. Maybe use the yeah. Oh that razor blade typhoon snipe was awesome 
That was so good. I can't say anything other than that was such a good fight. Duke Fishron, you look really sad just in so many different pieces, but I just completely wrecked you. I think that was a very fair fight still, but we just completely won. Let's open the treasure bag and... What are the odds? Okay, this game is telling me something. There's there's no way around it. This game is telling me something. You guys told me about the bubble gun. Rapidly shoots forceful bubbles. You guys told me that this is OP too. And as a mage, I just get the mage weapon. I get both magic weapons. The typhoon and the bubble gun. I think this is a sign. You know, Terraria knows me by now. Terraria knows... I tried hard to get strong, and now it finally gives me the the items I need to make that happen. And I guess I'm just gonna... Hang on, I messed it up like that. There we go. The bubble gun is gonna be maybe here, a third slot. It might even be a number one slot. You know what? I'm just gonna try it out right away against Duke Fishron, because... Can I, can I even get to anyone? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm just gonna use my fishing pole and once again fight against Duke Fishron. There we go. And now I want to see how strong this is. Okay, do they home? That's the question. Do they home? They do Okay. Okay, this might not be good. I'm not sure about the bubble gun. Maybe I'm just using it wrong. Because how does it work? How does it work exactly? It doesn't have a very good range. But if I do it like this, maybe? Interesting. It's an interesting weapon. But I kind of feel like the razor... Pine, not the Razor Blade. The Razor Blade Typhoon, of course, is also crazy because it just deals so much damage all the time. Pretty much what I see is use the Razor Pine for just the main damage. And if you need to dodge a lot, if you just need consistent healing and damage, use the Razor Blade Typhoon. Oh god, heal, 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 heal. This is dangerous. Heal? Come on, heal more, heal more, dude. What is happening? Okay, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna run away. Goodbye, Duke Fishron. See you later. See you later, not alligator. See you later, fish. But this is it. And now use the use this for homing damage. Come on. Come on. You can't. You can't. We can't win. You can't win. Come on. Razor Blade Typhoon. Do it. Do it. Razor Blade. Razor Blade. Come on. This is crazy. What the heck? Dude. Oh my god. Thank god. Oh, this phase is so tough! That last phase is so tough, I can't even believe how tough this is. You stupid fish, shark, flying thing. That was cool. That was fun, but wow, that's actually difficult. Let's open this one. And we actually get the flare on. The flare on, I think that's how you'd say it. And you guys also said that this is like an OP melee damage. Because it looks like basically this weapon by itself. Together with the bubble gun, that's pretty much what it is, just melee damage, and if you... Okay, that's pretty amazing. That is pretty strong. So, if I hadn't switched to mage, this would have been a great weapon to use, but honestly, Razor Blade Typhoon, Razor Pine, the godly, godly Razor Pine, and maybe the bubble gun and the Magnet Sphere all together, I just feel strong. I actually feel like I can attempt the final boss now, the final, like, thing in Terraria, and I'm gonna do that right now, and we will see how I do. You know, I can't lie, I am a little nervous. This is gonna be the final fight, maybe the hardest fight we ever had. There are a few slimes around, but down here we have the enemies. The Cultist Archer, the Lunatic Devote, or Devotee, I guess. And they are just worshipping this, what? Mysterious tablet. And I guess we're just gonna go full bubble gun on them. I'm so sorry, but goodbye. <laughs> okay, and there we go. And what is that? The lunatic cultist. The, like, main cultist with a nice little raven mask. Okay, of course taunting us with a laugh. I'm just gonna go away here. And... Ew, it's the ice queen! Oh god, you, you, you... Got some tricks from the ice queen, I see. But okay, I might have to use the razor blade typhoon. Because, oh god, this cultist flies away and around so much. Okay, I need to use the... What is that? Okay, I need to use the the potions. I do have a lot of potions as you can see just ready I wasn't sure if I had to use them for this, but obviously this is actually like this is actually a legit fight So I have to take this very seriously. I need this healing from the specter set. Where is? 
There we go, just kill it quickly. Maybe I need to actually use Duke Fish Run. But the I won't get the buff from the mount because I won't get below a half HP apparently. I'm not sure what is better. I think I'm gonna switch between like the wings to dash around and also the thing. Okay, so the lunatic cultist is three. Now there is a dragon, a what dragon? A phantasm dragon. Okay, I'm gonna use the razor blade typhoon because there are so many things happening. I'm just gonna use the razor blade typhoon. I'm not sure if that's cheap. But this cultist is just flying around, shooting lasers at us. I need my mana back real quick. Where, where, mining potion, where is it? Up there, okay, another dragon, just destroyed. My god, now we have four cultists. But almost down, I'm just gonna spam here for a little bit maybe. Okay, I need the mana again, I need the mana. Maybe one magnet sphere. Okay, okay, now I need to be careful. Oh god, use the HP potion just to be super safe. And we're almost done. We almost got him down all the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is it, this is it. This is it. Oh god, the dragon again. How much more, how much more? Come on, there can't be much more left. It's literally down, the HP is down. Okay, and there we go. Obsessive devotion. Celestial creatures are invading. The lunatic cultist has been defeated. And we, we don't get any... Okay, wait a minute. Wait, don't die. Oh god! Get healing, get healing, get healing, get healing. Okay, okay, okay. Get healing. Run away with the Duke Fishron mount. Whoa! Run away! Run away to space, run away to space, run away to space. Run away to space. Is anyone following us? Oh, no! No! The wyvern! Why? That's not a good spot. Oh, wow, we just completely wrecked it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, the Stardust Pillar. Yo, no! Oh, the Truffle! Solar Pillar, Vortex Pillar, and Nebula Pillar. So we have pillars here. We are invaded. We are literally being completely invaded, as you can see. And I think the best thing to do, maybe should we go back to our base first? What is that? The Ancient Manipulator. We have an Ancient Cultist Mask. Okay, we can be a bird if we want to. But no, I do need these two things. Dude, the music! The music is so hardcore right now, but yeah, I think I'm gonna teleport back to my base and like make sure that my base isn't under attack. By the way, I can't deny it. I can't keep it hidden. We have Amy now. No, don't die, Amy. Okay, quickly, quickly, save your NPCs. Yo, ew, a worm. Okay, okay, this is crazy. They are literally attacking my base. That is not good, but we have the, what is that? Okay, another thing. Ew, go away. What is that? Crawltipede. Crawltipede. So like a little caterpillar, worm, whatever. Oh, that's an enemy. I didn't notice that. Should I use the bubbles? The bubbles might be good here for like crap. I'm dead. I'm so dead. What is happening? What is happening? What is happening? What is that? Ew. Dude. Oh my god. It's fire. Fire everywhere. I need to hide in my little hole. Oh, there. There it is. Oh my god. Wow. Merg was chopped up by the crawltipede. No, the truffle was slain. I lost! I lost! An NPC died! That's so sad! And I need to remember, every time I die, I lose my potions, which is a problem. Okay, where's Amy? Is Amy still alive? Thank god. Amy, heal me quickly! And then quickly, 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 go up! Oh no! One, two, three, four! And run away! Run away! Use your potions! Oh god! Dude, 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 dude! I need- I need healing! Why is it so strong? No! The Crawltipede! The Crawltipede, I did read comments, I did get tips that for the pillar, you shouldn't fly. You shouldn't be up the air, but that doesn't seem like it's working. I'm just dying all the time. Look, look at these things. A S-Roller? An S-Roller or whatever. Amy, no, I cannot let Amy die. Wait a minute. No, dude, stop it. Please, 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 stop. Dude, are you serious? Okay, now, potions and get out, get out. Don't care about the other stuff, just this and this. And then I just need to run. Get your UFOs out. Run. Why? I can't get the thing back. Okay, I don't want to be here, I think. The solar fragment killed me? Oh no, the solar pillar? What's a solar fragment? Dude, I might have a problem. I can't survive. I literally cannot survive. I might need a new strategy. 
It's not good that this is literally on top of my base. Amy, quickly, quickly. Just immediately. I don't have any potions left. I don't know if I can actually... I don't know if I can beat this invasion. I'm gonna try my best. These things are so terrible, the Korites. Yeah, I... Okay, it's game over. It's game over already. I need potions. I need so many potions. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing right now. Okay, I have it back. Kill this thing. Kill this thing. Okay, get the mana. Get the mana. Now, careful. What is happening here? Are there any... Any enemies here? Hello? I'm scared. Okay, there's one. Okay, now they all come from all sides suddenly. I think I need to like... Whoa, yo, yeah, yeah. I need to take one enemy at a time. Kill it, kill it. Okay, 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 okay. I'm scared. I'm honestly scared. This is actually very intimidating. Maybe here a few. Just kill them. Oh, no. Okay, dodge the things. There's the freaking crawl to peed, which I have to stay away from. Does this work? Come on, grapple up to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. I, I, he I healed by a lot. The freaking fireballs are just raining down. The entire world is ending, pretty much. And there are more things coming. I need to grapple up here, quickly. Okay. I think I need to go down. I need, oh no. No, how does this work? How do you survive that? Go away. How, 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 wait. Maybe this? Ah, oh, this is good, this is good. What? Why was it over for a second? That's weird. I need, please, I need a way to survive. I can't survive on my own here. I need to quickly go down now, quickly. Just stop, please stop, please stop. Let me get to Amy, please. Okay, no. Okay, quickly now, quickly. Thank you, thank you, ninja armor. I'm freaking out, but you saved my life. And now, okay, now we have it, maybe. Maybe now we have it. I hate these things. Literally the worst enemies right now. I hate, like, those cores that follow you. What is that? An S-roller or S-roller? The fireballs again. Okay, kill this thing. That's the worst one. Ah, maybe I can, maybe I can, I can stun it. Yeah, I can stun it. And that way, oh, what the heck? That's even worse. I love the healing, though. I just need to use this again, and then use this maybe for the extra damage. What? Stop! Dude, I'm so scared. I'm not sure if I can even survive. What? Stop! Do we have... Oh, we don't have... Oh god, we don't have another potion. So I might actually need to go back to my base and get another potion. I didn't expect that I would use up all of the potions so fast, so quickly. But the good thing is the potions aren't too expensive to... Ah, uh, nice to craft so it's not too terrible dude how long because as you can see the solar pillar has a shield it has a shield uh, no don't die kill this thing kill this thing okay okay stay calm stay calm and use this against these and then you can just heal to full hp almost Whoa! what the heck is that what even is that can i sh send this no i can't send it through the floor I'm honestly nervous. Like I said before, I'm nervous right now because this is like the end. This is the final challenge in Terraria pretty much. Here you have to give it your all. You have to survive and I don't know for how long. Oh! Oh, what the heck? Wait, no! You are so dumb! You're not serious, I died! What the heck? You saw that the shield was gone. I did it. But the shield was gone. What does that mean now? What does that mean for the future? I need to find out. But first, Amy, heal me full and quickly go to your potions chest and just get all of them. Ah, oh, I need more. I definitely, once I beat this pillar, I need to craft all of the regeneration potions I can get. Okay, just fly through. Fly, even though you shouldn't fly, just fly, fly, fly to the pillar. Okay, good. That's awesome. And now I can just kill the pillar, kill the pillar. And it should be easy going from then. So just, yeah, just use the Razor Blade Typhoon. I don't care. Avoid everything. Just survive, survive. Maybe use the healing potion and use another thing. Come on. Come on. Bam, 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 bam. It's done, it's done. It's over. Okay, 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 okay. No, crawl to Pete. Whoa. Oh, nice. We have some stuff. Okay, wait. No, no, stop, stop. I, I, I swear to you, stop it, right now, I swear. 
Stop it. Stop it! You stupid thing! 50th Korite. Ah, that was bad. Sorry, that was a bad ending. I died again. But hey, it's the final event. I don't mind dying too much right now. Stop jumping. You're triggering me. You freaking Selenian or Selenian. I don't know. Amy, quit being such a baby. Well, wow, that's rude. But okay. We have some solar fragments. The fury of the universe lies within this fragment. All right, that's epic. Did I miss anything? Is there any... Oh, my... Do you see this crazy pickup range for the mana stars? That's crazy. That's what the heck? That's actually crazy. Did I I miss I actually missed something, so good thing I went back. Two fallen stars here. A face monster. But I think we're pretty much done. That was like the pillar. Aw, 48 seconds ago. Now we have three pillars left. This is gonna be a long and hard fight. But now we have the ancient manipulator used to craft items. As far as I can tell, I can just craft both. The unpleasant daybreak and the broken solar eruption. Minus 30% damage. That is actually disgusting. But okay, we have some new weapons here. If I equip them both, we have the daybreak. Which is like... Wow. Okay, that's an awesome effect. Look at those particles. That's awesome. We have a spear. And we have the solar eruption, which is like... A sword, a sword which goes through everything literally and lights it up. So pretty nice. We're, I guess, we are at end game now. These are end game weapons, just which we will use for everything. I'm gonna assume that this is better than the influx waiver logically, just because it's like the final event. So I might just replace this. I'm not sure about the spears, like spears are always a thing, you have to aim them, but if you have this sword, you really don't have to aim it, because if there's an enemy, you're gonna hit the enemy, which is pretty good, so I think I'm gonna use the solar eruption. The next pillar, we can already hear the music, is gonna be in the snow area, and it's kind of fitting, it's like greenish, white, okay, 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 wait, use the potions, and now, I guess I could try this, okay, that's pretty amazing. Okay, this looks more like a lot of smaller enemies, a lot of weak enemies, which maybe spawn little minions. Okay, this might be Alien Queen. This might actually be a lot easier. Oh, there's the pillar. Then the solar pillar, the fire thing. I'm not sure what, like, element this should be, if it's even an element. Maybe the first one was fire, and this is just pure alien and stuff. The portals are shooting lasers, I saw that. But yeah, okay, this is going much, much better. And I'm killing so much, it feels like. Last time, I killed an enemy maybe every... I don't know, every half a minute or so. And here, I'm just killing an enemy like every second, it feels like, at least. So this is going pretty well. And it's dead. Okay, okay, the shield is gone. Now I just have to make sure I don't get too cocky. Maybe hide up here and just kill everything. Kill everyone you see. Just go full, full crazy mode, heal yourself, and maybe just focus the pillar, because it needs to go down. Or otherwise the enemies are never gonna stop. But I still need to focus on crowd control, because this is crazy. Use a magnet sphere, come on. Yeah, yeah, get it, get it. And hide out for a little bit here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I hate... Dude, the gravity, the gravity debuff is the worst thing ever, or how it's called. Come on, it's dead. Come on. Yes, okay, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Vortex is gone. You are overwhelmed with pain. That's not a nice thing to read, but thank you, Terraria. Okay, kill all the little stragglers here. Ah, that is so nice. Oh, that is such a nice change in music and atmosphere. And we have some Vortex fragments, which of course means... I guess we can just go away again. That was it. That was easier, much easier than Solar. We're gonna go to the manipulator and see what we can do. We can make the Vortex Speeder range damage and what? The catastrophic mixture of Pew Pew and Boom Boom. Nice. And the Phantasm. 66% chance not to consume ammo. This one too. That's crazy. I can once again craft both. So don't mind if I do. I want to see how they, like, how they play. I still have the Endless Pouch and the Quiver. So let's use them. Okay, so this is like, this is like five arrows at once, really fast, that's crazy, and the Vortex Speeder, whoa, whoa, okay, sometimes it explodes in like a Vortex explosion for extra damage, I assume, 
It's super fast. It looks awesome. It's like the Mega Shark. Just it's not too accurate. But of course the damage 61 per like bullet I assume. That is crazy. That is a crazy ranged weapon. For this next one we have to go through the jungle and into the desert. Now we are at Nebula. Yeah the Nebula pillar. I am a little scared. I'm gonna... I still have my potions from last time. I'm gonna use my Razor Blade Typhoon. Just so I don't like go into an ambush. Okay that's awesome. It's right over the desert like hole. It just looks nice. It looks epic. Almost like it's meant to be there. But okay what is that? Predictor or what? Predator? Predictor? I have no idea. And we have like, okay, we have a lot of floaty flying enemies, laser shooting enemies. So this also seems more like a crowd control fight with a lot of area of effect damage that you need to use. What is happening? Well, why is this happening? What, 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 what is happening? Why do I, why is it so much damage? Okay, is the thing here? Um, I, um, I was possessed. Okay, I think here you just want to always move around. Never stop. Never stop running. And it's done. Okay, okay, okay. Go full craziness on the pillar. Use the razor pine because the pillar can't really survive a long time against the razor pine. But no, 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 stop. Oh, I hate these things. Okay, use the Duke Fish on Mount. Don't get too cocky. I need the healing. I need the healing. Use the Fish on Mount. Okay, we are in a safe zone again. Come on! I hate it. Use the healing and now we're done. Now we're done. It's game over for you, Pillar. You have no chance against me. Kill all the remaining uh, enemies. Otherworldly voices linger around you. Those are some creepy messages right there, which I like. I like the Terraria message in messages in general. They just feel nice. There's one more. That's crazy, dude. What the heck are you doing? Die. Oh my god. That thing almost killed me single-handedly. And now we have this. Goodbye. Okay, okay. Those aren't real enemies. We can't just teleport back. Holy moly. That was cool. But now we have more fragments and we can make... We have the Arcanum. Arcanum? Nebula Arcanum. Um, magic damage, 81, and we can, of course, always make both, which I love, I love that so much. And we can't even make this this time. Okay, so can be placed, let's just place it maybe right here. And now, okay, we already crafted it, right? We can use the Murderous Nebula Arcanum and the Nebula Blaze, which I have to reforge. But look at that, 129 magic damage, we are a mage. So this is pretty exciting. If you use the Nebula Blaze... Okay, my mana is kind of crying. Like, look at the Razor Pine and look at this. My mana is literally crying. But it seems pretty strong, but the mana drain is crazy. And now the Arcanum... Oh, what the heck? Oh, what the heck? Wait, is this like the Magnet Sphere? Is my Magnet Sphere outdated? Is this the new... Magnet Sphere. I think this is gonna replace our Magnet Sphere. What is happening here? It's a party. It's a Nebula party! Fireworks! Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm definitely gonna use both of these, I think. At least try them out. Of course, first reforge them. And then it's gonna be time for the final pillar. And now we will go back to where we started. To the dungeon. And you can just see this. these new weapons are gonna be kind of crazy, I think. I'm gonna use my buffs. And then I'm just gonna see... What do they do? Okay, it looks like they fall. Whoa, what is happening? What is even happening? What is what is my like own weapon and what isn't? Okay, okay, wait. So the Nebula Blaze is like high damage single- Excuse me? W what happened? Use the Razor Blade Typhoon just because I think this is still the best weapon we have. Where is it? Okay, all the way up here, which is also cool. Literally at the highest point. This feels so... So much like it's all planned, I love it. But okay, maybe use the Arcanum, just because I like... Okay, no, we have worms, ew! Maybe that's what killed me and I didn't see it. We have worms once again. Dude, and they're tanky, like the solar ones, that's not good. But okay, I think this is starting much better. What is that? I saw some weird stuff near the pillar. I have no idea. I'm just gonna use my usual strategy, I guess, run around and try to survive and spam my Razor Blade Typhoon. And we're done! Okay, it's done, it's done. The pillar is gone, the last pillar. 
Now I just need to make sure not to die to the remaining enemies. Come on, kill the pillar. I think when the pillar is done, you can fall into that trap. You just want to kill the pillar as fast as possible. But don't, you know, don't lose sight of your strategy. Don't lose sight of the battle. Don't do anything dumb. Maybe use this awesome weapon just for the damage here. Because that seems pretty good. Like, look at this. These new weapons are so good. And there we go. I think that's it. There we go. Star Destroyer impending doom approaches. That is not a nice message. That is not a message that anyone wants to read. But okay, Stardust Fragment. Stardust Fragment. There is one more. Okay, okay, I'm actually... Wow, my heart is beating fast. Okay, so impending doom approaches. I am afraid. I have a strange plan, so that's a little nice. But okay, I'm just scared. I'm honestly just scared. I still have my potions. And... That effect is cool. Like the shaking effect all the time. Guys, now we can sit with the campfire. We did it. The four solar... Or not solar pillars. The four pillars... Are defeated, but still, the entire world is shaking, the entire world is falling apart. Impending doom approaches. I still have the, yeah, regeneration, most important potion by far. The Moon Lord has awoken! Okay, okay, now I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna use, wait, use all the potions that you can still use. I'm gonna use B. The... Ah, uh, oh god, the button to use all your potions you can use. Okay. Oh, the music is cool. Dude, all this music! All this music is so... Oh, I'm gonna die. I don't think I'm prepared for this. All of this music is so alien-y. Alien-y? Alien-like. Dude, okay, I need to... I need to fight. Use the... Use the fish run mount. Get the heals. Can I get the heals? Oh, no. You are unable... Unable to absorb healing effects. I read a co... What was that? What? What? What was that? I think that was the fastest fail of Moon Lord ever. We failed the Moon Lord. That was it. Impaled by Phantasmal Eye. I read a comment. I am unable to use my Spectre set, but it was only like four seconds left. So if I if I had been able to survive for a little bit longer, I might have been able to just get back into the fight somehow. But holy crap, guys, we did the pillars, but now it's all over. The pillars are gone, we died here, but the Moon Lord has vanished. Like, literally, the Moon Lord came from the moon down to Earth, killed us, and went back to chill on the moon. That's all that happened. My god. But that was actually fun. The pillars were a pretty big challenge. The Moon Lord fight went really badly, obviously, but still a nice enough start i guess but don't forget we have stardust fragments and we can make what can we make the stardust cell staff summon damage and the dragon staff so uh, summoning stuff again we can once again as always make both we can even make this one why not always have the monoliths and okay I guess this might be the ending of the episode because it has been so long and doing the pillars that actually took so long too so I think this kind of works like a like penultimate final kind of video just the build up to the epic moon lord which is legendary I love this entire game for this but okay let's check out this um I don't have my UFOs anymore okay that's good so I can't just use the summoning weapons right here so here we have a little dragon following us, and I'm gonna, of course, get the buff, just to really show it off. The dragon went away. There it is. Okay. Dragon, come here. So that's a dragon. It kind of just flies around like a fish. Kind of reminds me of Duke Fishron, which is nice. Our own little Duke Fishron with a, like, horn. I have no idea. But okay, now I think we need to, uh, like, remove it. And now we can use the cells. The Stardust cells. They're literally just orbs, like little blue orbs. But okay, guys, like I said, I think this is a pretty good ending for this episode. We we did the pillars, I'm happy with that. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take until I can actually fight properly against the Moon Lord. I might even just switch to melee, just try it out, switch between melee and mage against the Moon Lord to see which one just works better. But, you know... Because the, the, the Moon Lord does have that healing or absorption debuff for me, which really 
ruins my entire mage idea of this mage armor set. So melee might be the better choice, I'm gonna try a few things. But we will see how this all ends up working out in the next episode, hopefully. Guys, thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video, and until next time, take care.